Hello. Hi, Daphne. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, okay, okay. Just to make sure. How are you? So later, uh, once I will, yep. once the I will, I'm in. I will just start immediately. Is it? You are in already, actually. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> the session starts at um starts four. at four. Uh, there are there are a number of signups as well. Uh, we'll send a reminder, so we'll see. Uh, um, how many students actually do come in? But uh, as um, just letting you know, as this uh, session will be recorded, and uh, the recorded session uh, with the Q and A at the end uh, will be uploaded to um, to our page as well um, right. for the students to to, to look up after. Right. Like, yeah. Uh, my name is Justin. Anyway. Justin. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Sunway has changed a lot, huh? <laughs> you've uh, been you've been to Sunway before? Uh, Sunway Sunway University? Uh, you, yeah. <laughs> 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 Study there. I, my my friends went there, but no. Oh. Uh, I graduated long ago, so. <laughs> I I was a Sunway alumni also. I just ah, okay. finished my degree like two years ago, two thousand eighteen. Okay. Mm. Then ah. now I'm working in. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, my my nephew, my nephew just graduated from Sunway. Ah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, um, it, my my friends, my friends went to Sunway. Uh, whoa, that's a long time ago. Pro pro probably when Sunway first started. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a very long time ago. <laughs> Sunway started. Sunway, Sunway, Sunway started what? Uh, I think 50 plus already. 50 plus already. Mm. Okay. Okay. Maybe not so long. Because <laughs> oh, my, my friends went there in maybe 20, 2000, 2000, 2001. Oh, wow. But mm. it's still quite a long time. Like around almost 20 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that's that's um. I actually, I, I I had a cousin actually who graduated about five years ago from Sunway as well. Oh. Uh, he was he was I believe he was working with Sunway for a while as well. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, but but uh, I think he left about three years ago, four years ago. Uh, he, I think he worked there for only a year or so. I see, I see. Is my voice uh loud enough and clear enough? Yeah, if I very clear. Okay, all right. Yeah. yeah I'm but, actually uh, from Sabah. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Mm. But you're based at full time in KL now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, now, now waiting to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> my dad and my parents miss me already. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the Sabah has not so much restrictions now, right? Yeah, uh, not so much. Uh. Yeah. But in Sarawak, I think it's quite. Sarawak, well, I mean, pre um, next week onwards should be a bit more relaxed already. I see. Glad to yeah. know that. I think they're lifting the quarantine restrictions um, that um, for anybody, any, any Malaysian wants to come into Sarawak, actually no more quarantine. Oh, oh that, okay. Next week on, I think it's, it's just going to be a random swap test. But uh, that one they'll be announcing probably uh, this weekend. Mm, mm, uh, next, mm. next, next couple of days, uh, what the uh, actual procedure is going to be like. Yeah. So which one is Sarawak are you from? Hmm, a very, very small town mm -hmm. called Tenom. Tenom. Uh, we produce coffee. <laughs> oh. Uh? Yeet, yeet, for, yeet for coffee. It's just yeah. right beside my house. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most famous thing in, in my whole town. Mm -hmm. Whereabouts of uh, Sabah is Tenom? Um, somewhere, somewhere at the it, upper side of KK. Upper side of KK lah. Uh, if we go to KK, hmm. it will spend around like three hours driving. Ah, okay, okay. Um, nice. So we got no airport over there? Uh, everything, <laughs> everything Every time, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my, uh... 
my friends in uh, I mean last time previously there were still flights into Tawau. Mm. Uh, but uh, I, from Kuching lah, from Kuching there used to be flights to, into Tawau, but they cancelled the flights. Uh, uh, I think beginning be, beginning of this year they stopped. Oh. Yeah. So now uh, my friends who want to go back to Tawau, uh, they have to go to KK. Then then yeah. oh no. Yeah. Oh. Very expensive too apparently. Mm. Is there a student? There's a Zoe, there's a Kevin, yeah, possibly. Anyway, we'll, we will be, sh um, I'll allow for, for the rest of them to come in. Um, uh, I think that's probably over the next couple of minutes. Uh, a few more of them are joining. I'll just add them in. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll just start at four and a dot. Um, okay. We have approximately uh, half an hour for the for the presentation itself, I'll uh, allow for about 15 minutes of uh, the Q&A. Yeah. All right. All right, with one more person who's uh, joining in. I think... Um, there are a total of how many? Um, um, I, have, I have actually uh, on my list, I think I've got two more. Oh, oh okay, okay. So Pre-signed up. Uh. Yeah, but okay. uh, well, I think just for, for plot on the dot, we'll just start with uh, those who are here. Uh, hi everyone uh, who's here. I'm Justin. I'll be moderator, uh, but I'll be passing over the mic and the screen to uh, Daphne of uh, Sunway University uh, in a couple of minutes' time. Yeah, welcome to the presentation. And uh, I, actually, I'll just make you host now first, all right, Daphne? All right. Uh, yeah. So if you need to share screen, if you need to play any videos, yeah, you can go ahead. All right, Ken. I will start on 4 p.m. sharp later. Mm. That's in one in the, in a minute. Yeah. Yep. But I'll I'll just uh so just start I, first. I just any any other students? First. No problem. Any other students who, who do want to who are, who are coming in, I'll just add them in um as as they come in. All right, Ken. Just to let you know this session will be recorded, yeah? Understood. Okay, so it's four now. Okay, so welcome everyone for all the students who have just entered this room and thank you for coming. <laughs> all right, so greetings from Sunway. So before I start off with, you know, um, some introduction about what's the program that is being offered in Sunway, as well as what are the scholarships that is available for you, especially you all. Okay, let me introduce myself. Oh, before that. Okay, um, so later on, participate in the Q&A. If you have any questions, please don't be shy to ask questions. And if you found any important notes or slides that you find it useful for yourself, feel free to screenshot and then can you mute your mic throughout the session unless I say so, uh, say that you can unmute and then you have a 15-minute Q&A later on. Um, please be patient with any technical slips that might happen in between especially when I'm playing video. And last but not least, hope you all learn, some, learn something and enjoy today's session. So let's just make this more casual and, you know, like talking with your senior, okay? Make, um, imagine that I'm your friend now, right? <laughs> First of all, my name is Stephanie, D-E-F-F-A-N-Y, different spelling, yes. I love singing, okay? And then I'm a Sino Dusun. I know I look very Chinese. So I'm a mixture of Kazakhstan, Dusun and Chinese. And then, yes, obviously I'm from Sabah. So quite near to you all. Huh? <laughs> and last but not least, I'm also graduate from Sunway University. So I've graduated from accounting and finance degree program in Sunway two years ago. So after I finished my degree immediately, I start my first job in Sunway. Okay, so now Sunway, 
we do offer a lot, a lot of scholarships for you if you are considering to enter into something to, you know, to study. So the, we have academic base, which is entrance scholarship, continuing scholarships, as well talent base, young chef for those who are considering want to go to culinary arts, okay, and also sports for students who are maybe uh, represent state or represent national to go for sport competition one, you can apply for sport. And for students who are very talented in music, we have music scholarships as well. And then besides of all this that you see over here, there's actually a lot, a lot more. We also have need-based scholarship and then we also have media scholarships. So they're definitely one of the scholarship will fit your need. All right, so today, out of all of these scholarships over here, I would like to share with you all one scholarship that will be highly related to you all, which is Special Scholarship 2021. Okay, I assume all of you here is in year 11 or form five, right? Am I correct, Justin? Yes, ah. okay. So this scholarship is especially designed for you all. Okay, so it is eligible for programs that was listed now here. So which is all are the pre-U program and also foundation, A-level, OSMED, CIMP, Monash Foundation, Sunway Foundation in arts and as well as science and technology. Also professional accountancy paper, CAT and CFAT. Okay, so basically these are all the program that you can enter after you have completed your IGCSE or SPM afterward. Okay, so what are the criteria? In order to be able to apply for this program, okay, if you are SPM student, the first requirement is if you are a student who are supposedly completing your SPM this year, which now already rescheduled to next year, January, February, okay, you can apply for this special scholarship. While for students who are sitting for IGCSE, is for students who are sitting for this year, October, November uh, exam then you are able to apply for these scholarships, okay? Requirements, first one, minimum four A's is required in your trial exam in order to be able to apply for this scholarship. Any A's, A plus, A minus A's, A star A's, okay? Any A's, as long as there, there are a total of four A's, okay? Second thing, strong involvement in extracurriculum activity. So you, when you submit your application for this scholarship, all you need to do is just submit all the related certificate or any testimonial that you have that actually recorded um, what are the activities or competition that you have been involved in your Form 3 and Form 4, which is Year 9 and Year 10 as well. Okay, so we are looking at two things. Four A's in your trial, in your mock, in your forecast, okay, four A's, plus curriculum activities. Okay, last but not least, no matter you are local or international student, you can apply as long as you are studying in Sunway in Malaysia, All right? So by applying for this scholarship, you will be able to get minimum 3,000, maximum up until full scholarship. Okay, so this year, we actually offer this scholarship every year. So particularly for this year, because of the COVID and everything, no interview is required anymore. Okay, so totally based on your result, and your curriculum activity, you, it's a guaranteed scholarship basically, totally based on that two requirements. It's just a matter of how much you can get. So that one is to be decided by scholarship committee, but never try and never know how much you can get. All right, maybe you are very good in your academic, then in your ECA is so so, then based on your academic, you can get a high quantum. Then maybe if maybe your result is very average, but you are very active in your curriculum, there is high possibility for you to get a better quantum as well. So it's really case-to-case -case basis. So just try to apply. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, so if you are interested to know more about these scholarships, okay, I would strongly suggest you all to write down the link below over here, which is the bit.ly slash sunway21. Okay, so this one is a pre-register link. Pre-register yourself first. Then immediately you'll be able to receive email from my colleague, okay, which is Naomi or Miss Vivian. Okay, they will send you the relevant information and also application form for you to apply this scholarship once your trial result or your forecast result is out. Okay, so I'll give you all like five seconds 
on this particular slide. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, if later on you need all this information, you missed out, you can just let me know during the Q&A session. I will copy it in the chat box later. Okay, so now I'll go through with you all what are the pathway that is available in Sunway. Okay, so usually after SPM or IGCSE, you'll be going into pre-U foundation or diploma program. Then afterward only, you'll be progressing into degree program. And after that, will be postgrad or continue to do your professional paper. Okay, so after SPM or IGCSE, to go into pre-U foundation or diploma, Okay, let's say if you are in foundation, foundation is a one year, one to one and a half year um, program. Then after pre foundation, when you progress into degree, your degree is three years, so which total up to four years. Okay, if let's say after SPM or IG, you continue into diploma, which usually take you two years. Then when you progress to degree from diploma, your degree is another two years. So which also, a total duration of four years. So what's the difference between going into foundation um, and going into diploma? So if you are a student who are still not very sure, okay, still very global, like uh, I might want to study business, but at the same time, I'm still considering communication, psychology, you know, a few more career in your mind, you are still undecided for what degree you want to study, you can consider to do pre-U and foundation, okay? Diploma program is usually for students who are already quite certain what they want to study. For example, like for students who want to do accounting, okay, then you can consider to go into diploma in accounting, then progress into accounting and finance degree afterward. Okay, so diploma is for students who are very certain what they want to do already. Because if let's say you have done your diploma for two years, then later on you would like to go to another degree program which is not related to your diploma, yes, you still can, it's just that it will take you longer time to complete your degree. So that's the so-called risk to take diploma. So if you are undecided, take foundation. Okay, then on the right hand side over here, you'll be able to see CAT that leads to ACCA program and CFAT that leads to ICAEW program. So both of these are what we call professional accountancy program. It's basically for students who are very interested, want to become accountant, auditor, taxation, uh, tax, say, tax consultant, okay, then you can consider both of this program, okay. Also, ADTP is available for you all after complete, uh, after, upon the completion of SVM and IGCSE, basically they are looking at five credits, okay, five credits which mean 5C and above. Lah. This program is for students who are interested, uh, wanted to go to America or Canada, to continue your study. So this program is basically two years you'll be staying in Malaysia, I mean, do the program in Sunway. Then after the two years, you'll be progressing to any U US university that you want to go, okay, for another two years of study. And they offer a lot, a lot of majors, basically whatever majors that you can think of, we have it in Sunway ADTP program. So this is like a general overview to let you know how your pathway will look like after SPM and IGCSE. Okay, so in Sunway, we have all these five different pre-U foundation program. Okay, A-level, OSMAT, and CIMP, which is Canadian International Matriculation Program. All these three are what we call pre-university program, okay? So when you look at the recognition part over here, it is accepted worldwide, which means you can go to anywhere to continue your degree afterward, as long as you meet the entry requirements of the degree program. So for students uh, who are interested, want to go overseas to study one, then you can consider one of these three, all right? Foundation, no matter which institution, okay, as long as you see that foundation program being offered by that institution, meaning to say that that found, uh, student who are going into that university foundation are looking into continuing the degree study in that particular university as well. Okay. Of course, by doing foundation, you can still go to other university, but to go overseas will be case to case basis. Lah. So Monash University Foundation, 
is origin from Australia. So which means after you have complete MAFI program, it's either you continue in Monash University in Malaysia or in Australia, you can continue your degree in any Australian university and as well as any Malaysian university. But other than that, it will be case-to-case -case basis. Okay, so Sunway Foundation is from Sunway ourselves, so from Malaysia. So you can go to all these four universities over here. Going out overseas to study will be case-to-case -case basis. So for students who are quite certain that you are not considering going out overseas, one doing foundation is good enough for you. Lah, right? Second thing that you need to look at while choosing your foundation will be the cost structure, which is you all look at the right column over there. Okay. You will need to know you are an exam-oriented student or a coursework-based student. So if let's say you prefer exam, which means you feel like, you know, too many coursework, I don't like coursework. I prefer you let me study one shot and I go sit for exam one shot, I get the result one shot and that's all. Okay, if you are this kind of student, which means you are exam-oriented, then the program that you can consider will be A-level or OSMAP. Because these two is quite exam oriented, as you can see, A level is 100% exam, as well as OSMAP is a test oriented. Even though it mentioned that 50 50 over there, the 50% internal assessment is basically um, a lot more, uh, a lot of it is test. You have tests like as written as once a week, okay? While the rest, especially CIMP and MAFI, this one will be coursework based, as you can see, they have. 70% of out of the total cost is based on coursework. Okay, and last but not least, Summit Foundation is 50-50 imbalance. If you are okay with both and you are not considering going out, then you can do Summit Foundation. Right? Okay, so that one is pre-UN Foundation program. Now I will briefly go through with you all what are the degree program that is being offered in Sunway. So these are the schools that we have, I mean the faculty that we have in Sunway University program. So first thing, accounting. Okay, so we have accounting and finance, which is offered under Sunway University and invalidations of Lancaster University, where you can see the logo at the top right corner over here. So Lancaster University is the top eight university in UK. Validation, what does it mean? It means that you complete your degree in Sunway for three years. Immediately, you can get two cert, one cert from Sunway and the other one from Lancaster. So me, myself, is a graduate from this program and I get two cert, yes. All right. Second one, Victoria University Bachelor of Business. They do offer accounting and banking and finance major in this program as well. And this one is the Australia's, Australia's syllabus. So at the end of the day, you'll be receiving Victoria University cert, all right? And also ACCA, ICAW, and all the related diploma program, okay? Oh, one thing to um, remind you all, the entry requirements to go into pre-U and foundation program, we are looking at five credits. Five credits, if you have a credit in your English, then you have more options, uh. Okay, and if you are looking at want to go into diploma program, we are looking at three credits in general, but certain program they do have specific prerequisite subjects that is required. For example, like diploma in finance, okay, we will need three credits including mathematics and English. Okay, so this is something that you need to double cover because different institution their entry requirement is different one. Okay, now we move on. So for university degree program, we have business and finance. So these are all the business related degree program that we have. Okay, I think the most, um, nowadays the one that is most in demand under business, I mean, a lot of students uh, registering it is international business. So international, international business is like a business degree program in general. You will learn everything that is related to business like marketing, management theory, HR, a little bit of accounting, a little bit of finance. But the different thing is they do include this international globalized element inside this program. So which means when you are doing finance or accounting, you will take into consideration of currency changes. So your profit and loss is not just about expenditure and income. It's also related to the currency. When it comes to HR, which is human resource management, you will take into consideration of organization, organizational culture difference. 
So this is something that is quite interesting that you learn in this program. Lah. Okay. And then for students who love mathematics, okay, you love mathematics to the extent that you want to marry to mathematics, okay, you can consider to the actual study and industrial studies. Okay, for actual studies, this program in particular, uh, it does offer option, transfer options for you to do one plus two, which means one year in some way, then second year and third year, you can go out overseas to continue to study. So the university that we are working with is University of Kent and University of East Aglia, which is from UK, and Macquarie University from Australia. All right, so these are the options that you can consider if you want to do transfer. Okay, industrial statistic is something that is quite hot and is they so call is a sexy jobs uh, in the future. Okay, it's something to work with data, but this one is more towards mathematics. So which means you will be using different kind of mathematics or formula to come up with the data um, analytics that you want. Okay, we have actually three types of data science or data analytics uh, subjects that is being offered in Sunway. So one is under business, which you already seen from the business part. And this one is under mathematical science. So it's focused on the mathematics. And the other one will be uh, focusing on IT, which later you will see. Okay. So for students who are interested to do sciences related uh, degree program, so far as of now, these are the only sciences related program that we have. But our school of medicine is coming up. So we are going to have medicine and pharmacy sub degree program as well as engineering uh, degree program is coming up soon. So hopefully, I think it should be next year. Mm. All right. So, so far, the one that we have will be psychology, biology of psychology, biomedicine, and medical biotechnology. For students who are interested to do diploma in nursing, basically this one is, we are working with Summit Medical Center, okay, which is Summit Hospital. So this one, you will need this program. You will need to go through a medical checkup as well as an interview session by two different uh, faculty. One is the nursing department and the other one is Sunway Medical Center. So if let's say you perform well in the interview, high chances you'll be getting full sponsorship from Sunway Medical Center. Full sponsorship meaning to say that it's really, you no need to pay anything, okay? They will give you like meal allowance, book allowance, and some medical benefits. They covered your tuition fee, registration fee. They even provide you accommodation. Okay, so everything is covered. And of course, after you complete these three years of diploma in nursing, you will have this five years bonds. And also you can look at it as a guaranteed job after you complete your diploma in nursing. Uh, and the job is inside medical center and you will be receiving salary as normal. Communication and film program. So for students who want to become director, you want to make movie, we have digital film production over here. And for students who are really interested, you know, doing advertising and uh, doing branding, okay, you love to design advertisement, a little bit um, combination of communication uh, inside this program. Uh, okay, and we have the related diploma program as well. Just in case it, you are curious about what is diploma in performing arts, this one is for students who are very interested in doing script writing, you know, um, to be on a stage in a theater, want to become actor, actress one. This is something for you. Okay. Creative arts, which are all our design and music program. And yes, we have music related degree program being offered in Sunway. So basically there are two. One is contemporary music and the other one is music performance. Contemporary music, uh, the nowadays pop songs, are, which means you will learn how to compose songs, how to do recording, how to do audio editing. Music performance are more towards classical music. Okay, so basically this one you will need to know how to play some instrument and then you will need to have some certificate for that particular instrument that you play. Up. Ah, computing. These are all the computing related degree program. Okay, so business analytics, this is the one that I say, uh, which is a data science program, but it's under computing, school of computing. 
Okay, and then IT, computer networking and security is where you will learn how to become a hacker. And computer science and software engineering is basically related to programming. So which means if you want to go to computing, right, they do have prerequisite subject that is required during your SPM and IGCSE, this stage over here. Going into computer science and software engineering, your additional maths is required. Okay, and going into the rest of this tree, the credit in your mathematics is required. Okay, so computer science, software engineering, credit in ad maths, the rest is credit in math. Also, we have hospitality and culinary management program, okay, which are all the culinary arts, the cooking and baking, convention, event and management, okay, for students who love to organize events. And hotel management for both diploma and degree program, we have it here in Sunway. And this one, we are working with La Cordon Bleu, which is a well-known institution for the hospitality program in Paris. So you'll be getting two cert. It's just that you are not receiving La Caster cert. You are receiving La Cordon Bleu and Sunway University cert. And this program over here, they do offer transfer options for you to go to Bournemouth University in your final year as well. And last but not least, this is ADTB program, which is the American Degree Transfer Program that I have mentioned in my previous slide. As you can see, they offer a selection of over 1,000 major and it's flexible credit transfer degree. All I can say is, if as long as you are very certain that you want to go to US to study, going into this program, 100% is transferable. So what we will do is that you need to let us know which university you want to go, what major you want to do, then during your two years of study in Sunway, we will design the course structure based on the university that you want to go. So basically whatever you study over here is 100% transferable to the US university that you want to go. Okay. So this is Sunway University campus. I'm not sure any one of you have been there before. And in Sunway, now we have more than 100 clubs and societies for you to join already. Okay. So basically, studying in Sunway is not just about study. Okay, you can involve yourself in a lot of club and society sport related. Maybe you love music. Maybe any one of you interested in anime here. I saw one of the profile picture. Okay, and we do have Korean language club as well. So a lot, a lot, a lot of clubs for you to join. Okay, but of course it is not compulsory if you don't want to join. So now I'm gonna share with you all one videos. Okay, that can basically show you how happening is Sunway University now. So yeah, if you really do have a chance to drop by to KL over here, I really, really encourage you all to drop by our campus, have a campus tour. You'll love the campus because that's what happened to me. That's why I fell in love in Sunway. Okay, so for our station students, the thing that our parents will be most concerned about will be our accommodation. So in Sunway, we do offer our in-campus accommodation, which is very near to our campus, like just 
the nearest one is three minutes distance and the further one will be around 10 to 15 minutes walking distance. Uh. Okay, so we have three types. Okay, Sanwe Monash residence, Sanyu residence and Sanyu apartment. So to put it in a simple way for you to recognize all these three, let's put it into three star, four stars and five star accommodation. So we start off from the top, the most right corner here. Okay, Sanyu apartment is what I so call three stars uh, accommodation. So basically, this is a non aircon unit. Okay, you don't have aircon inside here. And basically, they offer twins sharing and also four sharing room. Okay, so the rental is ranging from 380 to 560. Okay, and then the second one is Sanyu residence. This one is five minutes walking distance to campus. So it's a four star accommodation. They, this one, is an aircon unit and they only offer twin sharing options in this uh, residence. Rental will be either 700 or 780. Okay, last but not least, Sunway Monash residence, five star. So as you can see, you can feel the five star wipe already. <laughs> they offer single room, a lot more single room being offered under this uh, residence over here. And they do have twin sharing as well. So the rental will be ranging from 780 to 1650. So this 1650 rental, okay, single room got three different types. Okay, two is the normal single room without a toilet inside your room. So this 1650 is the one come with attached bathroom inside your room. Okay, so the rest of the resident that you see over here, you don't have attached bathroom in your room, but basically one unit will not stay more than eight people and everyone will be sharing um, washroom, I mean, the, the bathroom, which is outside, you, you will have two big bathroom, okay, sharing for everyone. Uh. I stayed in Sanyu residence before, which is this four-star twin sharing, and I would say my stay is quite enjoyable, and, but at the end, I still move out because I want to try to stay in single room, <laughs> okay? And then, yeah, basically, that's all for my session. I am Daphne and this is my contact, which I think later on will be shared somewhere as well. So if you would like to, you know, screenshot or you would like to note down now, feel free to do so. And that is my Instagram. If you would like to see my singing videos, yes, you can go and stalk me. <laughs> okay. Of course, if you would like to ask any questions after this session, this is my contact number. You can WhatsApp me and this is my email address. You can drop me an email anytime. Thank you for your attention. Hey, thank you very much, Stephanie, <coughs> for that insightful presentation. Um, if any of uh, the participants here tonight, uh, this evening, um, if any of you have any questions, please you can uh, ask uh, Daphne directly, or uh, you can leave it in the chat if, if you if you don't want to turn on your mic and do video. Yeah. If you do have any uh, questions regarding the scholarships, the programs. Please ask away. Don't be shy. <laughs> or if you are comfortable in speaking Chinese or any other language, I'm okay with three language. If you want to speak Hakka, I also can. <laughs> uh, our Hakka is slightly different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know the Hakka and Sarah is different. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, anyone got any questions? Maybe while you guys thinking of what question to ask, or maybe someone is typing in the chat box, I will just share with you about the special scholarship that I mentioned. So that special scholarship, if let's say you apply already, there are two scenarios. One is, let's say when you apply, maybe you only get uh, 5,000 for example. Then when your actual result come out, you get like, a better result, for example, like 9 A's, which actually based on our entrance scholarship, you'll be getting 16,000, then we will upgrade your scholarship automatically. Okay, we will upgrade your scholarship uh, based on your actual result. That one is scenario number one. Scenario number two is, let's say you apply special scholarship by using your child, and that time maybe you get, for example, um, you get 8,000. Okay, you get 8,000. Then unfortunately, your actual result turns out you only got four A's, okay? But you will still stick with that 8,000 quantum of scholarship for your study. Uh, so 
it, this scholarship is really, really worth it. And there's no bond for you saying that you apply already, you must come in. Huh? No, 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 not at all. You still have the choice to actually choose to accept the scholarship or not. Okay, so just try since economy is quite bad now. <laughs> Anyone got any questions? Huh? Is a the scholarship is uh, the, the following year one that will be depending on your year to year result, same, same result, is it? No, the one is for, for, for study in pre U and foundation. So basically, what as long as you are granted for that quantum, it's still, it will be granted for you for your whole program already, which is for that uh, one or one and a half year uh, pre U foundation program. Okay. Mm. So, Natalie, do ask questions. If I want to take up human resource management, what course should I take up in foundation or diploma? Okay, basically, if you're looking at to do human resource management, right, most of the time they do not have prerequisite subjects that in particular, like for example, if you want to do medicine or pharmacy, then you for sure you need to do science subjects or tech foundation in science or related foundation to go into that degree already. But for HR management, is something that is more towards, um, I would say, art stream side or business side. So whichever pre U foundation also can. Uh, but if let's say you are quite certain that you want to go to HR management, you can consider to do diploma in business. But I would say diploma in business is a general thing. So if let's say afterward you go to HR management for degree, right? From diploma in business, you progress to that degree. You might need... I mean, the duration for you to complete the degree might be more than two years, like two years, maybe plus one more semester. So to go into HR management, I would suggest you to choose foundation or pre-U. So which means you do one year foundation, then continue your degree in any institution that offer HR management for another three or four years. Okay, Natalie, hope I answered your question. All right, you're welcome. HR management is a quite interesting subject. Like after I finish my degree, I do have the thought of doing my master in HR management. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Your degree isn't? My degree is accounting and finance. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> anyone else? If anyone else has any questions, uh, please just uh, type it out. Yeah, I think definitely more than happy to help. Yes, any language that you are comfortable with. <laughs> 我可以讲华语, <laughs> if you want to speak Korean, I also can. <laughs> uh, with regards to your uh, American transfer program, hmm. mm -hmm. any American university, yeah, basically any American university. Unless you are considering to go for the very top, top, top one university, that mm. one we would suggest you to go from a level program will be better. Mm. Mm, because that one is where recognized. It's not saying that ADTP, going from ADTP, you will not be able to be accepted into the top university. It's just that unless, it's just that their entry requirement is quite high. So they prefer students coming from pre-U and not doing credit transfer. Mm. Uh. I think they probably don't look at credit transfer anyway, right? Yes. Yeah. But um, maybe you'd like to share if uh, how, how was your, your own experience uh, coming out uh, to, to KL from, from Sabah? From Sabah, from, right? Yeah. Basically, to be really honest with you all, I have a very strict father who do not like me going out a lot. So I've never sit on an aeroplane <laughs> before I come to KL here for my study. So basically, I finished my degree. Is everyone clear? Because I see my connection is not stable. My voice is uh, clear, right? Yeah, clear. Okay. So basically, I finished my... I'm, from, I'm graduated from Chinese Independent School. Um, in Sabah back there. So I complete my study 18 years old. Then 19 that time is my first time sitting on a plane flying over here. Hmm. So a bit a bit of scared because you know a lot of people will be saying that hey be careful of KL people ah. <laughs> all this thing. But to be really honest when you are here 
the situation is here is not as bad as you thought. The people here are actually very kind and friendly. I think it's just a misconcept. La. But mm. to be here alone, because I don't have any seniors over here, I don't have friends who are going in and I mean anywhere nearer nearer to me. So mm. basically I'm alone here. Uh you just need to be, you know, very brave <laughs> and do not scared of trying anything or do not scared of asking questions like all I can say so I was exploring Sunway City myself go for public transport working on a canopy walk to reach Sunway Pyramid I just go and explore myself and then one thing that is quite funny is that because I'm very bad in direction you know, my direction is very bad then Sunway campus is actually very big and we have like old building and new building, college and university building, which is, I cannot find my classroom. <laughs> but, but, but thank God they do have this My, my Campus app where it can show you the direction uh, to go to the um, classroom that you want to go. Uh. So basically, I involved in two um, club and society. One is music club and the other one is Chinese Independent School Alumni Club. So this club, changed a lot a lot I mean changed me a lot because I used to be very quiet very quiet but this club they off, they organize a lot of events like every year seven to eight events and I involve myself in all of the events and that is where I become who I am today now lah. like very mm. outgoing okay so we got one question from En Tong if I want to study medicine is it better to take a level or foundation okay this one I would say um be depends on where you want to go. Of course, if you take a level, then your options is more wider. Wider in, in a sense of if, let's say, you're considering to go out overseas to study later on, then take a level will be better, of course. If, if you are just considering doing in Malaysia, actually, foundation in science or foundation in science and technology or any foundation in medicine that you find from other institutions also can learn. So, yeah, so that's how you differentiate these two. If you are still not sure whether you are going out or not, or whether you are staying in Malaysia or not, then safe well for you to take A-level. Because A-level is where afterward you can go anywhere. Do you know what's the difference between A-levels and foundation? Okay, so just that I do show you a comparison chart, right? So A-level, first thing first, recognition-wise is worldwide recognized. Okay, because it's from UK and then, I mean, even though it's from UK, but it's worldwide recognized, you can go to Australia, you can go to Asia countries, you can go to anywhere. Well, for foundation, foundation it means that you do the foundation in that, okay, for example, you do foundation in us in Samway College, which means you are aiming to go into Samway University to do your degree, or you are considering to stay in Malaysia to study only. Okay, so that one is for the recognition wise because foundation, right, to go out overseas to study is not saying that totally not possible. It will be case to case based on your result and based on the entry requirements of that overseas university, whether they accept Malaysian foundation or not. Okay, so recognition, that's the difference. Then second thing that I look at will be the cost structure. A level is a 100% exam based program. Okay, having to say that even though it's 100% exam based, not saying that you have a lot of exam. It's just saying that um, your final result will be depends on your final exam. You will still have coursework in between, but it will not contribute to your final result. That one is A-level. Foundation depends on which foundation that you're looking at, but coursework will be taken into consideration. For example, like if you're doing Monash Foundation, then that one will be, they will have 70% coursework and 30% exam. So if you submit your assignments on time, you do well in your group assignments, your individual assignments, your presentation, you're doing good, basically you can pass already. Yeah, so that's the difference between foundation and A-level. You are welcome. But for En Tong, right? Um, because if let's say you want to study medicine, and let's say, uh, because Monash University, they are quite well known for their medicine and pharmacy engineering degree, if you are looking want to do your degree in Monash afterward for medicine, you can consider to do Monash University Foundation year, which is Murphy. Uh, so because that program can prepare you better for 
to go into more national university degree for their medicine program. La. This is some additional information for you. La. When taking a degree, will there be any placement? You're, you're, you're talking about internship, is it? All of our degree program in Sunway, all of our degree program in Sunway, except Victoria University degree program, la, you will have a three months internship in your final year. Okay, all our degrees is three years during. Doing your internship in your final year, third year, short semester, I think for three months. You'll be doing internship for three months. And usually how the internship will go is basically we will give you a list of company where our students went in to do their internship before. Of course, if the company that you want to go is not on the list, you can still appeal. And then we will help students to do the background checking of the company to see whether is it suitable for students to do internship in that company. And then afterward, we'll actually have workshops that actually guide you how to prepare resume, how to um, do well in your interview, then you will have a lecturer to be your monitor supervisor like, to make sure that you are safe in your working place. Okay, so this is how usually the internship done. Like. You are welcome. All right, we have a couple of minutes left. Uh, if you, any of you have any further questions, any follow-up questions? Yeah. Hmm. Got any more questions? Let me think if there's anything that I want to share. Basically, from my side, oh, I'll be waiting for you all to ask questions. But one thing that I really, really need to remind you all will be the scholarships. That one is really a thing that I feel like if you don't apply, you will regret. Because if that happened to me, I will regret for sure. <laughs> But the scholarships you mentioned is mainly for the diploma. Um, no, it's mainly for the pre-university foundation yep. and professional accountancy program, which is the CAT and CFAT program. What about the degree? A degree-wise, after mm -hmm. you complete your foundation in some foundation of you, then when you progress into degree program, you will be under continuing scholarship where I show on in my first slide. Mm -hmm. Continuing scholarship with minimum CGPA 3.4 from mm -hmm. your PO foundation. Uh, you'll be able to get a minimum of 8,000 scholarships. Of course, the higher the result you get, maximum you can get up to 16,000 per year scholarships. And then so your time three will be 48,000, which is already half uh, of the fee that you need to pay for the three years of degree already. Then on the top of that scholarship, you can still apply for PDPDN some more. So that's what I did. Uh. I mm. get 45,000 scholarship for my three year study. Mm. And then I apply PDPDN that I get 20,000 plus. Mm. So I save like six, 60,000 plus, you know, 60,000 plus. Yep. So I only need to pay like 30,000 for my three years of degree study. Mm. So really worth it. Mm. Okay. Excellent. Um, anyway, uh, I think our time is more or less yep. up. Yeah, mm -hmm. if there's uh, no further questions from everyone, thank you very much, uh, Daphne, uh, for your time today. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Yeah. Um, Daphne, you um, left the contact, so please, uh, if, if any of you do have anything, just contact her directly as well. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Justine. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Daphne. So I just leave, like, leave directly, is it? Yes, you can leave directly already. Okay. Uh, then um, I think we will be sending you, uh, I'll get iPhone to send you as well, the list of students. Uh, okay, can. who um, join us today. Can, can, can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that should be it. Okay, see you when I see you when I'm there, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Someday. Bye. 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 Bye.